What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Fan How you guys doing today? Back when I first got into Bluetooth and GPS trackers, I used to go in Amazon and see this particular tracker in the top five. And I used to always be like, oh, there's great reviews, I wanted to get it, but never bought it because it was 2G. And I knew the technology was moving away from 2G and going into 3G. So I didn't want to buy or get a product that was old technology. But they recently updated their hardware to 3G, and what I'm talking about is the Trackamo. On this channel, I like to do great new technology and sometimes how to do's. And lately, it's been a lot of Bluetooth and GPS trackers. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely click that subscribe button right down there. And make sure you also hit the notification button so you get notified of new videos as I put them out, usually every Thursday. Full disclosure, they did send this product to me for free, but this will be an honest review. I will be leaving affiliate links down below to Amazon and also directly to the Trackamo website. A couple of things that have always interested me in the Trackamo is the size of the device itself and also the low monthly service charge, both of which we will talk about shortly. A nice little start guide, which hopefully we won't need. Some more safety instructions. And here is the device itself. And like I said, this is super small. It's actually probably one of the smallest GPS trackers that I've seen thus far. Wow. We'll take a look at this more in a minute, but we have a little water resistance case on in here. We have a clip, and this looks like a clip which you can clip onto the back of the tracker. And then this is the battery. One of the nice things about the Trackamo is the external battery. A lot of GPS trackers you actually have to charge by plugging in a USB wire and then sitting and waiting for the whole thing to charge. If you buy extra batteries, you just swap these out and you can continue using it. And then you have a nice long lanyard so you can hang this from someone's neck. And then you do have a micro USB charging wire. Got extra Velcro 3M tape. And then you do have a little screwdriver and a couple of screws to lock in the battery if you choose to. So you do have a few options to mount this. You can use the Velcro tape. It has a magnet on the back right now with Velcro tape. Or you can use this clip right here and clip this onto something. You also sell a drone kit so you're able to secure this easily to your drone. And that's one of the nice things about the size of this, which is only 47 by 40 millimeters by 17 inches high. And it only weighs 1.4 ounces or 42 grams. And because of the lightweight and the size, a lot of people are gonna be using it for drones, which is great. But you can easily use this on a elderly parent, on a child, on a pet. You can put it on your car, on a bike, pretty much anything you want to know the location of, you can put this on. Let's take a closer look at the actual device. On the front of the device, you do have three buttons. You have the SOS button, so you can send your location to a loved one. Um, and then you also can send custom messages, preset messages with these two other buttons, which we're gonna talk about more once we get into the app. On the bottom, we do have the micro USB plug if you wanna charge up the battery that way. On the back, we do have the battery compartment with the changeable doors if you wanna use the clip, or you can use the, um, the Velcro with the metal or without the metal, it's up to you. One of the nice things about this clip is you can put a screw through here so you can hold this thing down so it definitely doesn't open up if you um, like put a dog leash through here. You don't have to worry about this opening up and falling off. On the left side, you do have a place where you can fish the lanyard through. On the very top, you do have the on and off button and there's nothing on the right hand side. Now because there is no water protection with the tracker mode, they have included this water resistant sleeve, which you can easily place over the device, of course the right way. Definitely a tight fit, which is good. And can still clip this onto a dog leash. Looking inside the device, you can see that there is no SIM card. I will be blocking out my um, my numbers just for my privacy. But if you wanted to use your own SIM card, it does not look like you can. It's probably built into the device and does not look like you can change it. I do believe with their 2G model, they did have a SIM card that you could change out. But with their new 3G, it is built into the device and you cannot change it out. 
So that being said, that means you have to buy the service directly from Trackamo. Luckily, they don't charge very much. It currently is $5 a month, and one year is included with the purchase of your Trackamo. Let's go ahead and put in the battery. I like this clip. I want to put the clip on. And if I wanted to, I can take one of these little screws. It comes with a little screwdriver. It does come with two different size screws, two of each, just in case you lose one. All right, let's go ahead and download the app and see what we get into. We're gonna go into the App Store and we're gonna search for Trackamo. This is available in the Apple App Store and also the Google Play Store. We're gonna click Open. While you access your location, while using the app, we want to send you notifications. And now we're gonna click sign up and quickly sign up. Now it doesn't look like you can actually add a tracker through the app itself. I quickly read the instructions and you have to add a tracker mode through the tracker mode website. All right, we'll go to trackermode.com. All right, we're gonna click login and we're gonna put in our email address and password. And we're gonna go up here and say activate device. And you need to get the codes off the back of your Trackamo. Connecting to device. And now it's asking you to pick a plan. It does include 12 months of service, which includes 10 SMS text messages every month. Congratulations. Only one thing left to do. Personalize your Trackamo. So we're going to go. And we can nickname this. And we're going to call this Eric's Trackamo. Now, if you want to receive alerts and notifications direct to your phone, please enter your phone number. It is now all nice set up. I don't know why the map's not loading up. It might be because it doesn't have a signal yet because I haven't turned it on yet. Now, I'm not going to be reviewing the website in this video. It just will be way too long. But if you do have questions, definitely leave them down below and I will answer them when I get a chance. Let's go ahead and go back into the app and see what we get into. All right, we are out and about with the Trackamo. Let's go ahead and log into the app really quick and see where it locates us. All right, you can see as I was getting here, the speed limit alarm was triggered. And let's go see if we can get rid of this. Wow, that is pretty much exactly where we are. Right at the end of that court right there on Sugarbush. So it gives you the speed. It is a battery life. Um, battery life was like at 60 some percent this morning and now it's at 35. Um, but I am refreshing this every minute so it's probably only going to last about a day if that. Um, of course that is the main reason your battery life is going to diminish is your refresh rate. So to increase that you're definitely get um, um, more of a better battery life. All right, so now we can look at the history. We can go in the one hour history, hit get history, and kind of see where I've been in the last hour or so, which is just about right. Actually, it is 100% correct. So you can search by the um, one hour, and you can go back all the way to 24 hours, or you can also do a date range if you wanted to do it that way. Um, I'm not sure how far back you could go, but I've read some reviews that say you can go back pretty far. Um, you have a geofencing, which actually I put one around my home this morning, and I got all these alarms of my device leaving the geofence, so that definitely worked. To add a new one, like I just did here, it's a square, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the width. And once that tracker leaves that geofence error, it will give you a no notification, either a text message or an email, depending on what settings that you have put into the system. Here are some settings on your phone. All these same settings are also on the website. The only difference is on the website is you can specify where the messages go to, either to a phone or to an email. I don't know why that option is not available in the app but it definitely should be. So you do have the speed limit, which I have it currently set for 65 miles per hour, which you can designate kilograms or kilometers per hour or miles per hour. You have a low battery warning. You have a moving start. Um, so if your device moves, it would give you a message. You have the right key message and the left key message. These are the messages are gonna be sent as you press the right key and left key 
and they cannot be changed on the fly they can only change in the app so once you put them in and you say you give this to your kid those are the messages that are going to be sent and then you have your SOS button which is the middle button you have the beep sound so when you press the button it does make a sound which you can turn off so if you want to be able to press the buttons and no one can hear the sound you can definitely specify if that goes off or not you can change the device name and then you have the refresh rate and like I was mentioning refresh rate goes from one minute all the way up to I think it was 200, uh, 120 minutes so every two hours so I currently have it for one minute but understand the more often that refreshes the more battery life it's going to take um, you have your speed units and then you can pick what type of map you want to pick and then you can clear all notifications and you can log out so we're gonna hit save up the top up here in the top right you do have a little Bluetooth icon and it kind of looks like a Wi-Fi icon on the side too but it's kind of weird um, I was having trouble earlier with this until I updated to the new iOS 11 it used to crash all the time but now it seems to be stable so you can see that it is connected to it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi not quite sure probably Bluetooth um, and you can see how close it is to you so you can see right now it's near and if I would walk away it would definitely go towards the far side so this kind of tells you in your, if you're in, if it's in your house you can locate it easily you can also beep it which is really nice there's a beepy, beeping fit feature right there but I noticed that it does take a while to beep and sometimes it doesn't even beep so let's go ahead and try that out beep is sent we'll hit OK and let's see how long it takes All right, there we go. So as you can tell, it was not very loud, but and it takes a while for it to beep, but it does work most of the time. I would love for it to be louder. Let's press the left button. Get a little blue light right there. Let's see how long it takes. There we go. Got a little message right there. And now let's do the right one. got a moving alarm that's been triggered there's the track out hi dad and now let's go ahead and do the SOS button and there we go got the SOS button and it does give you a pinpoint where it was pressed you also get these emails as you can see here all right guys so that is the app let's go ahead and go back to the studio all right guys let's wrap up this video in conclusion i love this little trackamo um, i love that it's 3g with wi-fi i love the size of it the weight of it um, it feels good in the hand um, it's great for a drone and for pets and for um, pretty much putting this on anything. You can hide it very easily. I love that it has a little beeping sound even though it did take a while to beep. Um, and it's not that loud either. I recently lost a GPS tracker actually here in the studio and I wasn't able to find it because it didn't have that feature available. Um, so that's very nice to have. Um, monthly rate, $5 a month, which is one of the lowest that I've seen um, plus they give you the first year for free um, I do wish that text messaging were um, was, was free but it's really not a big deal because you do get the push notifications and also um, the ability to send it to your email so that's not a big deal at all so I give this a two thumbs up. Definitely if you guys want to pick up a tracker mode, check out the affiliate links down below. That definitely helps support the channel with no additional cost to you. If you haven't seen these other two videos, you should definitely check those out. If you haven't subscribed, I hope I've earned your subscription. Click that blue button right there. If you want to become a super subscriber, check out my Patreon page, which is this blue square right here and see the benefits of becoming a Patreon member. I appreciate all the love and support I will see you guys on next video.